at the local flying field and I have the Extreme Flight Laser EXP 48 inch with me. I got the nose cone on finally. Still don't have my wheel fairings on it. And I've flown this a couple times now, maybe four times. And I've noticed I just can't really get this to trim nicely. It looks like it's centering, but every time I invert it and up, upright again, the airplane is not holding its position and I have to keep retrimming it. So that's kind of, I think my linkage might be a little tight. I'm going to maybe loosen these off, but I'm not going to bother this flight. What I did notice when I put the spinner on just now here at the field, the motor was loose. It was actually able to move up and down a couple of millimeters. So that may actually have caused all the uh, trim issues. It'll definitely have something to do with it. I'm surprised I didn't notice because uh, when a motor's loose, it'll vibrate a fair bit. So this must be a good motor, a uh, fairly balanced prop because I really didn't notice anything unusual. Um, if this was a gas or a, a fuel, fuel engine um, that much play in the motor you would have really noticed let's get it up in the air it's gonna be mild aerobatics probably I prefer precision aerobatics without the precision because I'm not precise but uh, I strive for that this airplane is probably good for that and freestyle 3d which is um, hard to explain but for those of you that don't fly, it's very little airspeed or no airspeed even and doing tumbling maneuvers and spinning maneuvers and using a lot of the thrust off the prop to do stuff that's very unusual. So that's kind of the 3D side of the aerobatics. Um, really high stall, high alpha stuff. This one can Harrier, which is nose up, power up, full stall on the wings, but you have control of the aircraft with enough thrust off the prop. Um, We'll try a couple of those things today, but again, it's going to be just another test flight, another trim flight. Hopefully my landing gear holds up. Glacier Fresh beer. Yes, it's not very good beer, but the color match is pretty good. I've got the GoPro, I've got the GoPro on top of my head so I can actually tape the flight. Up trim. Let's see if it keeps the trim this time after some flights. That was the wind picking it up because it's flying at a funny angle.
we'll get it figured out. But I've got the feel for some FPV. This is a Avant. Uh, pretty small, five inch, super light. It's not even meant to carry a GoPro. It's kind of for racing freestyle. But uh, it'll easily carry a GoPro, no problem. It's pretty, pretty powerful, kind of fun. Needs a real tune-up, so, but... All right, let's play. GoPro is on the machine. Again, for those of you that watch but don't really know how that works, is I can't really fly this thing at 100 meters out. It's just too small. It'll just be a ball of... I can't see very good. So what we use is goggles. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but in here... We see what the bottom camera sees on the drone. And... This is the radio. I uh, shouldn't play with it because it's armed. But anyways, these are all the controls for flying, just like an aircraft or a helicopter. Pretty similar to it. Off we go. in the drink nothing's in the water nothing's in the corn and nothing's broken so I'm good uh, yeah this thing's actually a lot of fun it's just a tiny thing but uh, man the power and the agility is just insane so much fun and being in it with the goggles is even better so 